In addition to the advanced GPS navigational features of the Apollo GX series receivers, the GX60 also adds exclusive advanced two-way communications functions to your cockpit capabilities. In the communications mode, a new section appears below the standard navigation data. This section lists the active and standby frequencies and four new soft key functions, monitor, recall, memory, and flip-flop. In the COM mode, select frequencies by turning the large knob for megahertz changes and the small knob for kilohertz changes. All new frequencies are entered in the standby position and a touch of the flip-flop key activates them. You may also monitor the standby frequency while another frequency is active. For instance, if you want to hear ATIS information Advised while you are talking to ATC, enter the frequency to be monitored and press the monitor key. The audio channel switches to the monitored frequency and a small M appears in front of that frequency. When the active frequency receives a signal, the audio channel will automatically switch back to the active frequency. The GX60 stores frequencies in several locations. To recall a frequency, press Recall. Then turn the large knob to select the frequency type and the small knob to select individual frequencies in the type you've chosen. Enter loads your selected frequency into the standby position. Recall will bring you up to 15 airport frequencies from your to and from waypoints, as well as the last 15 frequencies viewed by pressing info. The abbreviations used for these frequencies can be found in your user's manual. You may also use a scratch pad function called user to store up to 10 frequencies from the standby position. Each time you press memory, the standby frequency will write to the user list. Then just press recall and turn the large knob to view the last stored user frequency or the small knob to scroll through the rest of them. Seven weather channels are available in the weather function. These channels are receive only and the transmitter is blocked when any of these frequencies is active. In an emergency, press recall and turn the large knob to emergency. Then press enter. Then flip flop to activate 121.5 megahertz. In this program, we've tried to give you a practical overview for using your Apollo GPS receiver in VFR in route and IFR flight operations. We encourage you once again to build your skills by repeated reference to the manual and incorporating what you learn into your flight routines. In the manual, you will also learn how to update your database cards, how to use the flight simulator built into your receiver, and how to get extra help if you need it. If you find that your yeah, questions you. are not adequately addressed in the manual, contact your nearest Apollo dealer for one-on-one -on -one assistance or the Apollo customer service representatives at tomorrow. We hope you will enjoy many happy hours of VFR or IFR flight with your Apollo GX series GPS receiver. And please let us know how we may serve the flying community better in products yet to come.